That's no bitch. Drop the beat. College dating, the slippery slope of hookups, heartbreaks, and condoms on doorknobs. I know you're probably wondering, why are there condoms on doorknobs? Well, to that, why are young smoking galaxy gas? Two questions that would not be answered today. I went to my first ever college party this week, and I quickly realized how little game dudes have. It consisted of niggas standing up against the wall, swaying back and forth like this, while playing true for dare, seeing who could get a girl's number. Also, I was offered some head but I politely declined. In the words of the great Dwayne Carter, safe sex is great sex. Better wear a lady. On top of this, the women are thoughts. They are literally hopping from bed to bed every single night. My teacher literally was talking about getting down yesterday. So in today's video, I'll be walking around campus asking baddies, student athletes, and munches, what is the best dating advice that you can get? Should you even date in college? Does size matter? Is your girlfriend a thought? All of these questions, well, almost all these questions, will be answered in today's video. And while watching these interviews, you will see a recurring theme throughout all of them, which will tie into the purpose of this video, which is in turn gonna help you either get some buns or some dingling for the gal and the gay boys out there. Shout out to the LGBTQ community. You ready? Cause I am. So first I decided to go to the student center since I know there'd be a lot of students going in and out of there. I ran into these two PYTs right here and I asked them to give me some simple dating advice for college as you'll see right here. So who are we here with today? Jasmine. Jaden. What grade are y'all in? I'm a freshman. I'm a sophomore. With dating advice, would you give to some young girls or dudes coming to college? For like the beginning, just focus on your schoolwork because your schoolwork is really important. But I know it's like a lot of people out there, a lot of cute faces, new faces. So don't be afraid to talk to them. Just shoot your shot, you know, see how things go. But don't rush into anything. Take it slow, one step at a time. Just know yourself first. Put yourself first. Put your boots first and stuff like that. And then know what you stand for before you come. Like, because you'll fall for anything. Yeah. You can tell at first they were nervous, but then they started to get comfortable and they started to open up. I feel like it's so important to make women as comfortable as possible because when you just give somebody a weird feeling, not only is it really hard to come back from that, but you get a whole completely different person. What I like to note about what these two young women said is focusing on yourself. Just focus on your schoolwork because your schoolwork is really important. Women are designed to love men who have some sort of purpose to themselves, who chase something, who have something bigger than them. I've actually noticed so far in my first two weeks on campus that I've actually gotten the most female attention when I actually wasn't even looking for it. Whenever I was doing YouTube or whenever I was grinding, going to class, just really in my own world, focusing on myself. So it's so important to not just be drifting around like a bag in the wind. This is how you end up on a register singing with R. Kelly in jail. With my body, my body is me no means no, y'all. It's 2024. Say no. Now this guy right here, I feel like he gave some valid advice. Don't get me wrong, he, he, he was a little strange in that for me at first, but I think he actually gave some valid advice. I'm gonna let y'all hear it real quick. So who are we here with today? My name is Adam. What grade you are? I'm a um, freshman. Now what advice would you give to the men down out there who's trying to get the gal in that lay down some pipe? Um, I say it's gonna, it's gonna eventually come, just don't like try to rush it on some first night shit. Like right, heard that, heard that. Now, what's your go-to pickup line? I don't really have no pickup line. I just get girls out the way I, how, how I look, my personality. One thing I like to notice, though, about what he said is being a horn dog. I feel like a lot of young men, when they come to college, they get the quote-unquote term horn dog because, let's be real, we've all capped about getting shotties before or talking about how many women we sleep with, etc., to feel cool. But let me just tell y'all, just cause you not having sex in college like that, that don't make you lame. Majority of dudes aren't getting it like that to begin with. And honestly, like he said, you know, it's gonna eventually come, just don't like try to rush it. 
What's the first night shit? Let it happen in its own time. Everything has happened for a reason. You just have to trust and believe in yourself enough to know that you're attractive and other people will notice those good qualities that you feel you have about yourself. So it's so important to not focus on that aspect. Like, I understand the whole premise of this video is college dating advice, but in actuality, we're not focusing on the best pickup line. Like he said, when I asked him what his best pickup line was, he literally said, Now, what's your go-to pickup line? I don't really have no pickup line. I just get girls out the way I, how I look, my personality. I don't have a pickup line, I just talk. We're not focused on the best thing you can say or how to dress, how to smell. These are all things that you learn just by focusing on yourself and trusting the process. This guy right here is a certified boy. Just look at his attire. Shorts, slides, and a white tee with a chain. And just to finish him off, he got the three nonchalant dreads. This guy right here, y'all boys, gets the gal. And as you'll see when I interviewed him, he said some facts. Q, what you do, what you do? Uh, I hope. That's it. So obviously you get the hugs, right? <laughs> some slight, a little bit. So what, what college dating advice would you give to the guys out there who's trying to get the gal in that? Bruh, be a hundred, bruh. Cap. Stop capping. To be a hundred, you don't get what you want. Every time. So, would you say that being a student athlete helps you get gals? Being a student athlete is different, especially being a smart one. Okay. Like I got my schoolwork done. Now you want the answers? Shorty, I got you. Mm. You want to go to the game? Mm. I got you. you feel me? Okay, so man, the moral of the story, be a student athlete. Yeah. <laughs> Why, bro? I appreciate you. Something I'd like to touch up on about this guy is, this guy said that he was smart. He said that he gives shorties the answers, things of that nature, a smart guy. I noticed you see a lot of young dudes, they're always trying to play on that stupid, ignorant side instead of embracing the intelligent side because they feel like they're going to be corny or lame. But as y'all see this dude right here, he literally said, yeah, bro, I be giving girls the answers and all that, and it didn't sound lame or something like that. The difference between somebody who's corny, lame, and somebody who's respected, and it's seen as quote unquote cool is literally how you embrace it. If you embrace who you are, what you like to do, whether that's reading books, whether that's playing piano, whether that's tap dancing, acting, whatever it is, even if it's not popular mainstream, if you embrace that, you'll always get the love and respect you want, bro. Trust. So just keep that in mind for all you corny folks. <laughs> When I interviewed this girl, she really said something that made me think. Something that us guys and even girls don't think about enough when presenting ourselves to people. So who are we here with today? Deidre. What grade are you in? I'm a sophomore. Did you said that you give a lot, get a lot of male attention. Male attention, I guess. So what dating advice would you give to the guys out there who's struggling to get women? Um, be respectful. Stop being followers. What makes you attracted to certain young men? How they dress, how they present themselves. Okay. How they talk to okay. So what's your Instagram so the people can find you? Um, it's it's with three S's and then Deidre. To me, being respectful is allowing somebody to have the choice of talking to you, not smothering them with your presence. To me, being respectful is being able to know what language to use around certain people. And I'm not just talking about teachers or parents, I'm talking about even students. You gotta know who to walk up on at what times, who not to. And once you give people respect, that makes them a lot more comfortable around you. And I just like to say, somebody who's comfortable versus when they are uncomfortable, that is literally two completely different people. So if you always find yourself getting timid people who are uptight and stuff like that, there's a good chance that you're a weirdo. Stop being weird. I ended up stumbling across more student athletes and y'all all know the student athlete rep they're literally dooney demons shout out to kelly Oubre though i asked these dudes the same questions i literally asked everybody else and surprisingly one of the guys gave me the realest answer this whole interview section so far all right so who am i here with today uh jay jay do y'all play on the basketball team yeah yeah are y'all good yeah yeah okay. first of all how many points do y'all think i average in the season like 10 50 say about 12 13 what dating advice would you give to college dudes like yourself? You gotta have a diamond on your head, bitch. What the f does that even mean? What is he talking about? What? 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 You know what I'm talking about. Don't date in college. Why you say that? Females just, oh, yeah, yeah. they all just going, just don't, don't yeah. commit to nothing for real in college. Yeah, just true. enjoy, enjoy college, don't, don't commit to nothing. He said, enjoy college. 
You got your whole life to commit to a two out of 10 and have four kids. Same thing for the gal. You got your whole life to regret picking the nonchalant dreadhead drug dealer instead of a computer major. Live, bruh. We always trying to tie people down. We always trying to claim things, yet we own nothing, bruh. Like, really think about it. What do you own in life? You don't even own yourself because one day you have to die. And listen, I'm not saying just do a bunch of dirt and not care about anybody who you affected in the process because I know y'all thought he's going to try to twist that. All I'm saying is live your life. Don't be so quick to put someone else's baggage on you because you already have your own baggage. I put up on some more student athletes and these guys surprised me with their answers. But who am I here with today? Kayla. Fred. What grade y'all in? I'm a sophomore. I'm a sophomore. What do you do at the school? Uh, student athlete. Student athlete. What sport? Basketball. Basketball. What dating advice would you give to people in y'all same boat in college? I can say... No matter how low you is, you can get easily distracted in college. It is very, it's people that come to college with long-term relationships. Doesn't matter. Everybody's on go. But respectfully, everybody should be single. You feel me? You should, we are young at the same time. We doing what we supposed to be doing. You feel me? We not, we can't commit right now. I mean, it's in some people, you know, if they really see that in that person. But commitment right now is crazy. Enjoy what you got to do. Put that to the side. Because it takes a lot of self-improvement before exactly. you can put that in somebody else. But I, you know how I always look at it? I always look at it like, if you wanted to, you would. Whatever it is. If you want it, Facts. you would. Just like, you know how nigga, niggas be broke. But if they want a blunt, they'll find that $15 on, on Friday. Even if they, so, yeah. First of all, just working yourself. Like, that's really all I'm going to go. Same shit she was saying. But like, if you going to shoot us some shit, know you going to know it's like, Know what you get into type shit, so cause everybody ain't what they, what they say. So if we just be the set really and just you know, shoot the shot when you want it, though. I'd rather stay single. You know? I ain't gonna lie, I done did my dirt before, but it, it take accountability of that and move on from that. For instance, y'all see how she seems like a solid individual herself. She even said herself that it's easy to fold in college and she did so herself. And she seems like a loyal person. The analogy I like to use is a small town girl analogy. Small town girl, she's lived in this one place her whole life. She doesn't think there's anything better because she's only seen what she's seen. Then she goes to a new place and she starts meeting new people, new things to try. And she starts seeing there's endless possibilities. So she wants to try out this whole life. That's what a lot of people get. Like they got that small town syndrome. They only lived in one area and they never got the chance to see more. So they don't know that there's better out there. But one thing that's very important about what she said is self-improvement. Relationships can be nice. Cuddles can be nice. The doonies can be nice. The late night talks. Did I mention the doonies can be nice? But what's not nice is emotional baggage, trust issues, assumptions. All of these things come in different shapes, sizes, and forms in all people. So understand what's in you before you try to latch on to somebody else's BS, like my man's Fred said. Now, when I interviewed this girl, she showed me how important it is to know oneself. So who am I here with today? My name is Jordan. What grade are you in? I'm a freshman. All right, and where are you from? Um, I'm from McDonough, Georgia. What advice, dating wise, would you give to a college girl or even boy in your same position? What is something you would tell them pretending to date? Don't date in college. Why do you say that? Don't date in college. It will break you down. From what I've seen, people want to explore their options. They don't really want to settle down with one girl or one boy. They like to see what this girl is about mm -hmm. or what this dude is about. Who's going to like do the most for them in the long run? If you're like coming in, you're just a little piece of meat. Something, <laughs> something that they can um, get off to. I've learned that the hard way. I'm probably not gonna date the rest of my time <laughs> in college. I can't do it. Just in my short interaction with her beforehand, I instantly noticed how little we as teenagers know about ourselves. Or maybe honestly, we know what we want and don't want and what's good for us and what's bad for us, but we still choose what we know is gonna hurt us in the long run. Everybody is out for themselves. You're not that special. I don't mean that in a sense of how you should see yourself, but more in a way of how the world is gonna view you. There's always gonna be somebody taller than you. There's always gonna be somebody funnier than you. There's always gonna be somebody with more money than you. For the shawties, there's always gonna be somebody prettier than you. Somebody who's more caked up than you. Somebody who gives the ass cash 3,000 better than you. That's just life. And honestly, if you're not famous or you don't have some sort of status, the truth is the masses will truly never care about you or your feelings 
or how things affect you. In college, dating shows you this so quick about how little people actually care about you. People are so quick to move on to see what the next person can do for them. They don't care about how you feel or your emotions. People will do you dirty and they won't lose a minute of sleep. So with that, you must learn to not take rejection and people moving on personal. You talking to a girl, y'all talking every day, y'all in love. One day she just start messing around with another guy. Video gets leaked, she's on camera doing tricks on it. It slipped out, she put it back in. Big bro, you cannot take it personal. That's just life. People don't care about how you feel, so stop investing in people who don't care about y'all. All y'all people who be talking about how do I get out of friends or how do I get this girl to, if somebody makes you question whether they like you or not, then they obviously don't like you that much. So just keep, keep, just keep it pushing. Simple. For my final interview, I ran into these two girls right here. And they said some crazy-ish. Really a vibe though, cool as fuck. And what they said was facts in a way, but that's tough. I I'm gonna let it play. So who am I here with today? Zara. I'm Navi. A lot of y'all wanna come to college, right? They wanna start being thoughts. Now, that's their business, you feel me? That's their business, whatever you wanna do. Same thing with dudes. A lot of dudes wanna come to college and they just trying to be on a mad one, so. What would be our college dating advice for people in y'all shoes, boys and girls? I'm gonna say, fish around. <laughs> Don't only just have one nigga, you yeah. can have multiple niggas. Explore, yeah. But so you, you don't gotta, you know, fuck everybody to talk Yeah, to don't them. fuck yeah, everybody. Don't be nasty. Yeah, you can talk to them and not fuck them. What are some of the qualities that dudes have to have for them to be able to get with y'all? Be doing too much. I don't like people to be doing too much. You gotta be um, chill. Down to not so hoish. Yeah. <laughs> Did y'all just say no? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, um, just be yourself. Um, so you all saw how she said, I don't only just have one nigga, you yeah. can have multiple niggas. Explore, yeah. In some cases, that's what you should do. Because check this out. Say you try to be loyal to one person in college. Say you cut off all your options and you try to be loyal to that one person. If they find somebody else they're interested in because that's just what college is, you being free and open and you're literally allowed to do whatever you want with whoever you want. Say they find somebody else, you put all your eggs in that one basket of this person you barely knew and now you're just stuck and left with no buttons or no dingling for the gals and gay boys out there. Shout out to the LGBTQ community. What makes you so much different and better than the next gal or the next guy. And once you can be honest enough with yourself to really see that we're all the same in a way, it all comes down to personal preference and experiences and biases, that's when you can really start to weed through who really with you, who you really with. And that's whenever you can actually start getting into some real relationships. Cause pimping ain't easy, nigga. To go alongside my interviews, I did some polls on Instagram. I know I see that 126 views. I'm literally Instagram famous motion man, motion man. I know, chill. And I pretty much got the same answers. Everybody wants to fuck. And that's all right for real. To me, the problem arises when you try to string somebody along when you're clearly looking for some short term gratification. Moral of the video don't date in college. Learn about oneself. Hit a few. Just live. You have the whole rest of your life to be tied down. But you have your life now, and only now, to be young and explore with no limits besides the ones you set upon oneself.